Hello friends and welcome to a lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we will study Raoult's law and its application to calculate bubble pressure and dew pressure. This is Professor Arvind Prasad. Now what is Raoult's law? Raoult's law says that the partial pressure of any component in the vapor phase is equal to its concentration in the liquid phase multiplied by its saturation vapor pressure. Now, if you wish to learn more about Raoult's law, you can go to the card which is here on the top right. Now, the saturation vapor pressure is given by the Antoine's equation, which is nothing but ln P I sat is equal to A minus B upon T plus C. Now, if we apply Raoult's law to a binary system, we have Y1 P is equal to X1 P1 sat and y2 p is equal to x2 p2 sat noting that x1 plus x2 is 1 and y1 plus y2 is also 1 adding these two equations we get p is equal to x1 p1 sat plus x2 p2 sat so let's go to the problem assuming that Raoult's law applies to a system of n heptane and n octane let's calculate the bubble pressure and the dew pressure at 45 degrees Celsius if the concentration of N heptane is 0.45. So that's your problem on the screen. I have noted the Antoine's constant for both the compounds. It's on your screen. Now using these Antoine's constant and at temperature 45 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of N heptane is 537.2840 and that of N octane is 46.7170, both in kilopascals. Now let's understand the idea of bubble pressure and dew pressure. Let's assume that we have a solution at this point. Now the concentration on of N heptane here is 0.45 mole fraction, 0.45 mole fraction. So we take this solution and uh, here in this area, especially when the pressure is very high, here the solution is going to be in liquid phase. Now, suddenly what we do is we start reducing the pressure on this solution. There will come a point where the first drops of vapor will form in the liquid body. That point is known as the bubble pressure. We are doing this reduction in pressure at constant temperature. That should be noted. Now, let's assume we have a vapor which is at a very low pressure and it is a concentration of uh, heptane as 0.45 mole fractions. Now if we increase the pressure on this vapor, we will come to this point where the first dew drops will be formed in the vapor. Now this is the beginning of condensation. So this point is also known as the dew pressure. Now applying the Raoult's law of course we get P is equal to 0 0.45 into 537.2840 plus 0.55 into 46.7170. Here P is the bubble pressure. Why? Because we are calculating this and here the concentration in the liquid phase of N heptane is 0.45. So we use this equation and we calculate the bubble pressure. So the bubble pressure is 267.47. Now what about the dew pressure? At dew point, the concentration of N heptane in the vapor phase is 0.45 mole fractions. So we have Y1 as 0.45. So Y2 will be 0.55. Now we can rewrite the Raoult's law as Y1 by P sat, P1 sat plus Y2 by P2 sat into P is equal to 1. 
right? Noting that x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. What I have done is I have taken y1 p upon p1 sat is equal to x1 and y2 p upon p2 sat is equal to x2 and just added those two equations. And then this is the resulting equation we get. Now putting the values of y1, y2 and the saturated vapor pressures, we get the pressure as 79.2986 kilopascals. So this was all about how to calculate the bubble pressure and the dew pressure of any solution which is in equilibrium with its vapor using Raoult's law. Do like and subscribe my channel. This is very important to me. This motivates me to continue doing this work. And if you do not find anything which you have not understood, do write it in your comments. Take care. Have a great time. Have a good day. Goodbye.